What is up, I Squirt Lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we chased Team Rocket out of the Slowpoke well, rescuing all of the Slowpoke within with the very minor help of Kurt, the creepy old man that lives down the street that you probably shouldn't talk to. Yeah, him. And we also entered the Azalea Town Gym, defeating the first trainer. In this episode, we're going to defeat the last three trainers before heading on to the gym leader. So, what I'm trying to do right now is get Zip up to level 15. He'll be the first one to get there. And we will all clap for him and congratulate him as he learns his precious little Thundershock. And thus making him a bit more of a formidable force. Lovely. And then, after that, we are going to switch it to... And actually, what I'm going to do... What I'm going to do here, okay. I am going to tackle this Kakuna and get it down to very minimal health. And then switch over to the Pokemon that I want to use. Um, that I, or that I want to get to level 15 next. Which is actually Nani, the Glaceon. She is going to be learning Icy Wind, which is going to be so, so useful the most annoying Pokemon in this entire gym. Hopefully, she will actually reach, uh, she will actually reach level, uh, blah, 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 level 15 before we get to the gym leader. I'm not entirely positive she will, but I'm just hoping. So, Nani, dear, if you could come out and punch this Kakuna in the face, or just tackle it, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat, honey. Just, just get rid of it, please. I really, I really don't want it here. Get rid of it now! Thank you. Alright, that's enough of the Kakuna. That should get zipped to level 15, and he is going to learn Thundershock! Oh. My. Gosh. Everyone, just applause all around. Get rid of freaking Helping Hand, because it's completely useless. And he's got Thundershock, and it's a glorious day. So now he's going to send a Beedrill, and then now he's going to take on this Beedrill and get all the experience for it, which is going to get her... Probably about halfway through level 14, I would assume. Oh boy, Fury Attack. Oh, don't! Why are we missing? Why are we missing? Okay, you know what I'm going to do? This is what we're going to do. I know exactly how we're going to do this. I should have Sand Attacked to, to begin with anyway. Because I knew this Fury Attack is going to be a freaking problem. Because this stupid Beedrill, this is all it does all day. And we just need it to not. So I'm going to use three Sand Attacks. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep healing her. I'll keep healing her if I have to. I'll just use all my super potions. I got like, what, seven, eight? I think we'll be fine. I'm gonna keep sand attacking the stupid bee drill, and then I'm gonna tail whip it like twice, and then go in for the kill. So maybe one more, and I think we'll be good. Okay, yeah, let's do one more. All right, I'm not too concerned about its accuracy anymore. On to the tail whipping. Fantastic, it's still missing. I am okay with this. Let's get that frickin' defense down so we can start attacking. Maybe I'll do two more Tail Whips. Yeah. That'll probably be for the best. I'm glad I only hit two times, too. Thank goodness. What a waste of a move. All right. And now we can finally start hitting this thing because I knew we weren't going to do a lot of damage to it if we were tackling it at base defense. Oh, man. Why you be bypassing my sand attacks, bro? I'm glad it only hit three times. But still. Come on. Yes. One more. One more. I did not think I was actually going to do that much damage. But one more. You, baby. And how much How much experience? 408. Oh, that's going to get her way up there. Oh, my gosh. See how close. See how close. Baby, I love it. Oh, yeah, she's definitely going to get to level 15 before we get to the gym leader. I love it. All right, Zip, I am going to sideline you briefly. And we're actually going to put Eve here because there is a double battle in this gym. And I want her to get that experience so that she can get to level 14 as well since she is lagging behind a bit. I'll just use my basic potions, I guess. On, I'll use one of those on her. I think she'll be fine for the next, the next fight. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to actually hit this blue switch. And this is going to take us to the first gym trainer over here. And he... Actually, I have no idea what he's going to have, so I'm not even going to try to call that out. I'm going to Pokemon pretty tough, too. Oh, even he heard about our escapades in the well with the dirty old man. And the, you know what? I'm just going to stop right there. We don't, we don't need to know about this anymore. 
So we got ourselves a Paris here. I'm gonna tail whip this thing a couple times. This, that's right, I forgot about this thing. This is annoying because, of course, we can only tackle it and Paris has effect spore. Meaning paralysis, poison. Ugh, it's just not fun to deal with. I'm really, really hoping we get paralysis from it. Because that I can heal. You know what? That's fine. There we go. Paralysis is now a sealed deal. I'm okay with that. And then I can use my Paralyze Heal as soon as this fight's over. Alright, Yunani, if you could please, dear, tank through this Paralysis or not. No, no, okay. That's alright, that's alright. I know it's a 50% chance. I believe it's a 50% chance that Paralysis procs, and it still is. Okay, easy. Easy, Paris. You, you can just you can just chill, boyo. Come on. Oh, come on! That's three in a row. Please. And I don't want to unparalyze her because then effect spore will just t take effect because it's got like a 30% chance of of proking, and that's just not fun. Thank you, honey. All right, perfect. Okay, just two more of those should be enough to kill this thing, or not because of leech life. Never mind. It's gonna probably take four total. Come on, come on. Ah. This sucks. Uh, this is gonna take a little bit. Gosh, stop leech lifing! Just scratch, please. You son of a bitch. Sorry, I, I'm, I got a little upset at this Paris. Okay, maybe this will kill it if it can hit. Maybe it will still. Oh, please do. Oh, that'd be so lovely. I'd be so happy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. All right. I love it, and ooh, all right, next fight is definitely going to get her to level 15. So, let's heal her up really quickly. With a par paralyzed heal, and I like to use a super potion this time instead of just the regular potion. Well, yeah, let's do that. All right. So, the fun part, uh, well, this next fight actually is super, super easy. Like, it is Oh, it's it's a cakewalk. It really is. It is it's a double battle. And I believe it's you're against a Ledibot and I can't even remember what the other Pokemon is that you're up against. But they're both like super easy and they go down very quickly. So and the nice thing is is Tail Whip uh, hits both Pokemon when you're doing a double battle. So all we'll have to do is yeah, it's Spinarak, okay. All we have to do is just run two tail whips here and then we just start tackling and it's pretty freaking easy. Alright, so tail whip, and tail whip, lovely, and then Nani will definitely be level 15 by the end of this fight. I have no idea how much experience Eve has though, she might not even be close to level 14, so yeah. Don't worry, well, after this gym we'll be working on her a lot. Darn you and your confusion, why would you even, no, no, no don't, stop, stop attacking her. Cut that you I hate you. I hate you. You made me made it so I have to leave now. After this fight's over. I'm so mad at you. You know what? Spinner act we're going after this I meant to Okay, I meant to go after just the spinner act, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Fine. Just, 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 just uh. Kill the spinner act and the lady bond and the don't you if you poison her, I swear. I swear. Spinnerack, I will kill you. Spinnerack, I'm going to kill you. Oh my gosh. I hate you. I hate your family. I ha I'm going to I'm you know what, kid? Your your Pokemon, it's not gonna just faint. This will die. It will die right now. I know I shouldn't be so up worked up about this, but I but I am. And freaking tackle miss. And and uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Nani is learning Icy Wind. This is lovely. Get rid. Helping hand. Ah. Alright. I'm over it. Why would you Comet Punch her? Stop. Lediba? Stop. They're both poisoned. You a-hole. I don't like you. Alright. Attack, attack the Lediba, both of you. Thank you, it is dead. And it was a critical for the overkill. I'm okay with that, honestly. All the overkill in the world, it's okay. I'm gonna have to head back and get my Pokemon healed now. Uh, so I will meet you guys right back here in a bit. Okay, so, 
before we go to the gym later, I'm actually going to be putting Zip out in front. He is going to be the, the leader for this uh, fight and for a very darn good reason, okay? Honestly, gym leader, he's not hard. He, he really isn't that difficult. The only th He has two Pokemon that really, really suck, but he has one that's kind of a pain. Like, it's, it's, it's a real pain. Mostly because of this one move that it has. And we're gonna, that's what we're going to have to deal with. So, we're going to actually start with Zip. And after Zip, uh, if Zip can't do this all on his own, which I don't think he will be able to, but if he can't, and probably won't, luckily Nanani should be able to do, be able to finish this. So this Pokemon right here, the Scyther, this is the pain of his team. It sucks to deal with, but luckily he has Zip out in front to Thundershock this thing and do a hefty amount of damage. I was hoping for the paralysis. And I'm just waiting on who, you know what? Let's, let's try that second, okay, use quick attack. I'm glad it hasn't used its move yet, that it's, okay, you got a critical. I'm not okay with that, buddy. I'm hoping for a paralysis here if we can. Okay, it's using its berry, which, will it take it out of healing range? Okay, maybe. So what I'm gonna do, actually, just just in well, you know, I'm actually not too concerned about that. I just hope it doesn't he doesn't heal. Okay, used a quick attack, it's gonna kill Zep, that's fine. I'm okay with that. What I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna switch over to Nanani, and she is going to probably sweep this entire thing. Just don't miss your icy wind. It's 95% accuracy. Okay, there's the U-turn I was waiting for. Son of a gun. Oh, that move, and of course it got a critical too, but I can heal while we're fighting the next two, which are just a Metapod and a Kakuna, and they are not difficult to deal with. And of course, with Icy Wind, these two are going to be a piece of cake. They do have Tackle, so I guess they can do something, but... Oh, that is just beautiful. I love it. I freaking love it. So he's going to send Scyther back in. Let's actually switch over to Oliver just in case. Oliver is really the only one that can, might be able to withstand his U-turn because Cynthia, so I got Leafeon, Umbreon, and Espeon all weak to bug, which is going to suck. And I really need uh, him to tank through this while I heal her up. Luckily, his focus energy isn't in effect anymore. Now it is, which sucks. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm just going to sand attack this thing. I'm just going to sand, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just sand attack it. Maybe then its U-turn won't hit when it finally tries to get it off. Perfect. This is a good idea. I like this idea. Good. Yeah, just keep using your moves. Hopefully this will work. But I don't want the gym leader to heal. So if he does kill Oliver, that's fine. But what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to get try to get... I'm going to try to get all six sand attacks off if possible. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, though. Well, that's four, isn't it? I think that's four. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep, he got it to hit. Perfect. Okay, so that's four sand attacks. That's fine. Now... Although, wait, does Scyther have an ability? I forget what Scyther's ability is. Shoot. No, okay, it doesn't have an ability that prevents it from missing. You know, that's fine. He's dead. We did it. All right, so there goes Scyther. Pretty simple, and Nanani's going to get all the experience for that, which is going to be a lot. Look at that. It's level 16 easy. Bam! Love it. And then she's going to be able to easily one-shot this Kakuna. And then that's it for the gym battle. Not too bad. Not too bad. I had to be a little bit resourceful there. Yeah, bug Pokemon are tough, especially not evolved Kakunas that can only tackle and harden. Yeah. It was a good, valiant effort, Bugsy, but <laughs> I've got this beastly special attack on this Glaceon here, and she's icy winding you, and it's, it's yeah, it's it's over. Oh, whoa, amazing, you're an expert on Pokemon, right? So it's just incomplete yet? Okay, you win, take this badge. And we got the Hive badge from the gym leader everyone thought was a girl when they were kids for some reason. Do you know the benefits of the Hive badge? If you have it, Pokemon for level 30 will obey you, even traded ones. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside battle too. Also wants to have this TM89, which contains, I believe, U-turn. Yep. And I don't think any of our team our team members can use that. I want to confirm though, but I'm almost positive none of them can. Let me just check though. 
There's one Pokemon that I think might be able to. Okay, no, she cannot. I was kind of hoping Leafeon could, but unfortunately that is a no. So, I guess we're just going to have to take the long way back. Uh, that's alright, though. Yeah, you turn on a Leafeon, that would be sweet. But yeah, I didn't think it could learn it. That's okay, though. I mean, if there was, like, this Eevee badge, like, 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 as in, like, for evolutions, like, I, I'd totally be that gym leader, bro. I know all about these babies. Trust me. They're pretty much all I use anymore. <laughs> Even in competitive play, the little that I do. Okay. So, let's get on out of this gym, and I think we should be good to go. Now that we got ourselves a high badge. Awesome. So, I think now we can just head... Uh, we can just head west and out into the forest But we'll be doing that in the next episode. So ladies and gentlemen That is going to be it for this episode of let's play Pokemon Soul Silver. I hope you all enjoyed it very very much And I will see you all in the next one